Hello students, you are welcome once again to the last term study session of this course, which is study session 10, and it is the concluding part of this course, which it will talk about the winning diet. Please sit down and enjoy this lecture. At the end of this study session, you should be able to explain winning and its processes. You should be able to describe the progress through winning and, have, and foods to avoid during and before winning, and you should be able to discuss the basic principles of winning. First, what is winning? Winning is the gradual process of introducing semi-solid food while continuing with breast or infant formula make. When it takes place over a period of months, when infants progress through different food consistencies from porridge or mashed food to minced to cup to cut off food until they, they eat normally they, until they eat normal family meals. The purpose of introducing solid food alongside alongside an um, infant milk is to give extra energy and nutrients when milk no longer provides enough to sustain the baby's rapid growth and optimal health and development. It provides the chance to try new tastes and textures based on family foods when the baby is at the receptive uh, stage, when it enables infants to learn new skills that are required for them to progress through key developmental stages for speech and self-feeding. It is an important opportunity to introduce a variety of tastes and textures that helps baby to learn to eat a varied and balanced diet and to avoid problems with um, fatty eating at later stages. When to start weaning, the Department of Health recommends exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months, which is 26 weeks, as a population recommendation. The age at which the infant needs solid food varies and all infants should be managed individually. Weaning should not be delayed beyond six months, as from this time, breast or formula milk is no longer sufficient for the baby and is no longer sufficient to meet the nutritional requirement for growth of the baby. Some parents may decide to start introducing solid food even before age six months, and some individual babies may need weaning before six months. Solid foods should not be introduced before 17, 17 weeks, that is four months, and then the closer to six months, the better. Parents and uh, carriers of baby who start to win before six months should be advised that there is additional advice they should follow concerning regarding the types of food to be introduced and the sterilization of the feeding equipment that will be used, which will be discussed later. What are the signs that an infant is ready for winning? It includes one, when the, when the baby can sit up, initially they may require support and hold their head steadily. Also, when, when you want to chew, and when the baby wants to chew and is putting things in the mouth, also when they show an interest in food, reaching for food and watching others when you are eating, also, they can when they can coordinate their eyes and their hands and mouth, and also when they don't appear satisfied after feeds or demanding more feeds, even when larger feed and uh, milk feeds have been offered over a period of a few days to weeks. How do we start winning at about six months? We we'll talk about the equipment, which should be small, shallow plastic spoon and then um, plastic feeding bowl with big plastic mat or newspaper to protect the floor, as winning may be messy. Also concerning the sitting, the infant needs to be sitting up to avoid choking. A high chair is best so that they will be at seat at your level and they will be better be to be they will be able to exploit the food better. Concerning the quantity, one or two spoon teaspoons should be offered at first. Then the consistency, you have small smooth puri mixed with a usual breast or formula mix. For infants starting when it has six months, this stage may be very short or even bypassed. At this, at this age, infants will need to quickly progress to a thicker texture with soft lumps and finger food. Concerning the food, we start with small, smooth vegetables or fruit, baby rice or other non wheat cereals such as sago, maize, corn, corn meal or millet. Once baby is used to this, other foods should be included like um, the pureed, mashed, meat, fish, lentils or pulses, full fat dairy products like uh, yogurt or custard, other cereal food and uh, soft finger food. New food do not need to be introduced one at a time unless there is um, an immediate family history of allergy. Then we encourage the use of family foods but avoid adding salt and sugar or honey to the food that will be offered to the baby. Also don't force feed the baby. 
let's recognize the signs that the baby has had enough turn their heads when they turn their heads away when they keep their mouth shut when they push the food or the spoon away or when they hold food in their mouth or refuses to swallow is an indication that the baby has had enough food then you should breastfeed on demand to at least 500 to 600 meals infant uh, formula per day should continue until the uh, until age one also give children's vitamins vitamin drops containing vitamin a c and d even on a healthy balanced diet infants and children under five years may not get enough of these vitamins especially vitamin d advice should be provided on the LD start scheme vitamin drops for children which are able to which are available free and or even at low cost a leaded free flowing cup can be introduced from six months and water should be offered so that um, infants learn to expect this rather than sweet drinks where diluted pure fruit juice is better and it is more absorbed and it, it contains an increased ion. Cow's milk should not be offered as a drink until the child is more than a year of age. Full fat cow milk can be used in cooking like um, custard and sauces and alcohol should never be given to babies or children and should be kept out of their reach at all times. How can we progress to the winning stages? It is important to highlight to parents and carriers that the benefit of including infants in family meals, and this helps infants to develop self-feeding and social skills and promote good eating habits from an early age. Seeing the family enjoy a variety of food will encourage infants to try new food and mean they are less likely to be fussy eaters as they get older. Infants need to be introduced to a wide range of new tastes and textures. Parents should be, give, should be guided by infant appetite and gradually increase the amount offered, progressing to different foods being offered over three, three meals. Then, between the age of six to nine months, you progress to mashed and mixed food with soft lumps and soft finger foods. It is important to encourage foods from the food groups, like um, from, from these food groups, like starchy foods, like potato, cereals, pasta, rice, fruit and vegetables, make products such as yogurt, cheese, milk, puddings, also from protein foods such as meat, fish, well-cooked eggs, pulses and nut butters. Also food containing iron should be included regularly and foods rich in vitamin C served with meals to aid iron absorption. Between age 9 to 12 months, infants can progress from meals to chopped family food and also have hard finger food. Two courses cannot be offered to make meals more varied and interesting and then um, one to two non-sugary snacks given between meals. Feeding from a bottle should be discontinued by one year. Self-feeding skills can be encouraged from the beginning of the winning by offering finger foods and giving infants their own spoon to try while parents or carriers continue to help with feeding. You nev never leave a baby alone at a meal time as there is always a risk of choking. What are the foods to avoid during weaning? Salt. Infant's kidney are not fully developed at six months of age, and high amounts of salt or salty food can be harmful. Salt should not be added to foods. Processed foods such as stock cubes, gravy mixes, packed soup, instant mashed potato sauces, ready meals, and salty snack food like crepes should be avoided. Also, sugar encourages a sweet tooth and can lead to dental decay. Only can also con can con uh, only can contain botulinum bacteria and needs to be avoided until after the age of one year. Also, nuts. On children under five years should avoid whole nuts due to a risk of choking because they might not be able to chew it well. Pe peanut butter, paste, and granite peanuts can be included after six months of age if the child has been diagnosed with an allergy like eczema and other food allergy or there's a history of allergy in the immediate family. Parents should talk to their GP or their doctors, health visitors, or their medical allergy specialists before giving peanuts, especially for the first time. Some fish, like shark, you should avoid shark, swordfish, and marlin due to their mercury content. Avoid raw shellfish, shellfish due to the risk of uh, food poisoning. And boys can have up to four portions of early fish a week, such as mackerel, salmon, and sardines. But girls should have no more than two portions of early fish a week. Fish, especially oily fish, are a valuable source of um, protein and essential fatty acids in the diet and apart from these uh, limitations can be introduced during weaning. 
high fiber or low fiber diets too are not recommended as these diets are very bulky and can make it difficult for infants and young children to eat enough to meet their energy requirement and it can also reduce um fiber can reduce the amount of some nutrients absorbed from food looking at foods to avoid before six months as a um, winning is a key time for establishing infants onto a balanced diet it is important that foods are not avoided uh, it is important that food are not av avoided without good reason there's insufficient evidence to change their current and uh, general advice which is to avoid the following unpasteurized cheeses and cheeses with a soft range also gluten containing foods and they should also avoid foods which are most likely to cause an allergy like milk eggs wheat, wheat nuts soy seeds fish and then um, selfish what are the basic principles of winning the basic principles of winning are one at the start of the process the baby is allowed to reject food and it may be offered again at a later date the child is allowed to decide how much it wants to eat no fill-ups are to be offered at the end of the meal with a spoon the meals should not be hurried also sips of water are offered with meals initially soft fruits and vegetables are given other foods are lightly cooked to make them soft enough they should be soft enough to chew on even with bare gums foods with clear danger such as peanuts are not offered the non-finger foods such as oatmeal and yogurt may be offered with a spoon so that the baby can learn self-feeding with a spoon thank you for listening hope you enjoyed this lecture see you next